Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a tour of what's growing in the porch area. This is an area where there's a good amount of space to plant and the idea is to plant it in a way that looks more ornamental than a traditional garden. So there's a lot of plants mixed in here. We have a green zebra tomato that we're going to grow as a single stem. And we have some poppies down here, a bunch of volunteer peppers. These are volunteers of the black pearl pepper. It's waking up from winter and it's already making some peppers. As it warms up and it continues to grow, the leaves will get much uh, larger. And this year it's getting a little bit taller. Um, we're not going to cut it back because I think the height will make it make this space look nice. The gladiolus in the back are starting to bloom. And the tallest one uh, reached up to like almost five, six. So it's done. It's done blooming, and we left the, the the stock there for you to see. We also have corn here, grown as a single row. If you're trying to grow corn, it's best to grow them in at least a double row for pollen to help with pollination. So um, to pollen, we're gonna have to come in and hand pollinate some of these corn later on. But uh, the reason they're growing single row is because um, we can then use them ornamentally. So these are the Seneca red stalker corn. Uh, these are the same ones that you may have seen in the backyard. These are sowed a little bit later. In front we have garlic. I'm not sure how they're gonna do um, when we, I'm not sure what they're gonna look like when we harvest it. So uh, hopefully we get some good heads of garlic. And in between, the corn we have peppers these are Peruvian peppers this one is um, Aji Panka we have dill there and other various types of Peruvian peppers that are in between hello welcome I just got the call from the post office and am very excited about today yeah. We have some new garden pals to add to our lives, and this is a decision that's been two years in the making, um, over 700 nights of sleeping on it. With Owen starting preschool this year, we're gonna have a little bit more time to take on more things, so we're gonna go to the post office and pick up our garden pals, and before we do that, we gotta set up the brooder. So Owen's gonna help set up the brooder. All right, Owen, let's go. We're going to, oh, and you're gonna help? First, we're gonna need to put the, the shavings in here, and then we're gonna need to start the heat lamp, okay? Okay. So let's get some, let's get some shavings in here. I guess this is a little bit taller than you are. Why don't you take the heat lamp out, and Baba will just dump the shavings in, okay? Yeah. Right, here we go. Try not to make a mess, because We want to enjoy our new friends when they get here, as opposed to having to clean everything up. Let's go to the post office, Owen. Thank so you. let's go pick up our uh, garden house. Here we go. Let's let's open the the um the box here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, Owen. Okay, let's open them up. Okay. Huh? Yeah, that's a cup for them to drink and eat. Let's get the first one. Alright, let's see what you are. I think this one might be our blue runner. Might be our blue runner duck. Let's give him some water. He's drinking water now. 
Okay, you got a drink. Let's put them in there. All right, next duck, what do we have here? This is probably our Swedish blue. Okay, our Swedish blue. We'll figure out the sexes in a second. Let's give him some water or her water. Oh, we're drinking a lot. Oh, yeah. She drinks it off to me. Yeah, it's thirsty. Thirsty. All right, uh, let's put there now. Uh, and then uh, this is another, I think this is a female because this one's smaller. It's got a red band, so we'll have to figure out, decode that. Let's get him some water. Oh, she doesn't want any water. There we go. She's drinking now. This one here is a black, or this is a Cayuga duck. It's a black duck. When they get old, their feathers actually turn white. Let's give them some water. That's, a, that's actually a female. Okay. There's some water for her. And then this is a crested duck. Wow, soft, really soft and feathered. Okay, this is a female. Whoa, that's really soft. Yeah. Whoa, they're just splash, they're just playing that. Let's give him some more water. Okay, you got some water. All right, let's, let's uh, enjoy them for a little bit. So those are our ducks. Two of them are going to stay here with us and the rest are going to eventually go to my brother's garden. Mm -hmm. For the time being, they're going to be here and we'll raise them until they're old enough to go. We hope to put up updates and share our experience with raising ducks as often as possible. And we always appreciate your visiting and your interest in hey, our endeavors. So until the next video, thank you for watching and we'll see you then. All right, Owen. Yeah, Owen.